we are discussing esc prelims 2019 ki let us see a question from environment this question is about bod so this bod was in upsc last year also but this time they are asking the calculation part we will be knowing what is bod how we are calculating bod even though we have not done this kind of questions before we will be able to answer it let us see how we can tackle this type of questions before that let us read the question bod of wastewater sample is estimated to be 180 mg per liter assuming 4 mg per liter bod can be consumed in the bod bottle the volume of undiluted sample to be added to the 300 ml bottle is nearby so we should know what is bod and how we are calculating bod before attempting this question so bod is essentially biochemical or biological oxygen demand which means that how much oxygen is required by the organisms to completely digest the organic matter plus present in the water so this gives an idea about the quality of water so more the contaminated the water is more will be the oxygen demanded to digest it so higher the bod lesser will be the quality of water how we will calculate bod we will keep the sample for 5 days of incubation at 20 degrees celsius or 3 days of incubation at 27 degrees celsius then we find the initial oxygen level available and final oxygen level after digestion and from this value we will calculate the oxygen consumed and then the bod value so here we will use a bod bottle it is normally 300 ml size and here we need to dilute the water because wastewater organic content will be such that the oxygen available within this bottle will not be enough to completely digest the matter so that we should dilute the water and keep in mind the dilution factor for the actual bod calculation so here in the question we are given a bod bottle of 300 ml and the oxygen availability is given that is 4 mg per liter so total oxygen available will be 4 into 300 we are converting into both milliliter for convenience and for avoiding errors so here we have two values oxygen available and oxygen required what will be the oxygen required if you are taking x ml of the sample oxygen required will be the estimated bod oxygen estimated bod or estimated oxygen demand and the volume so we can equate these two here we will get the value for x what is x it is the oxygen available volume of the container and the estimated demand so we will get value 6.66 and this 6.67 ml is in our answer so this could be the answer but in some type of questions there can be a catch that if you don't know the complete procedure we may end up in wrong answers also so in this question also there is an issue that is if you are going with the experimental procedure and in environmental engineering we will do this experiment we should keep some limits we should keep the sample concentration within some limits so that we will get the values appropriate values that is proper values we will get that is uh, one limit is like the final oxygen level final oxygen level should be in the range of 1 to 2 mg per liter why so because if you are taking the sample 6.67 ml there is a chance that the organic matter will use up the oxygen available before the fifth day so fifth day only we will measure the oxygen level right if it is if the value is becoming zero before the fifth day there is no mechanism to know at what time the oxygen level has become zero so we cannot get the correct value for avoiding such difficulties we will keep the sample such that there will be some oxygen remaining at the fifth day also so this oxygen remaining 
can be in the range of 1 to 2 milligram per liter. If you are taking 2 milligram per liter, the oxygen available is only 4 minus 2, that is 2 milligram per liter and it is 3.3. .3. So we cannot take a sample more concentrated than this. And if we are experimenting such that we can measure the oxygen level as up to 1 milligram per liter, we can keep the lower limit as 1 milligram per liter, that is available oxygen is 3 milligram per liter and the sample size will be 5 ml. That means that if you are keeping the sample more concentrated than 5 ml, there is a chance that we cannot get the final oxygen level appropriately. And there is another limit how we, we should calculate the difference rate, difference in the value. So how much will be this difference? So for a measurable quantity, this difference should be at least 2 ml. So at least 2 ml of oxygen should be consumed. So for minimum 2 ml oxygen consumption, what should be the sample size? It is 3.3. .3. That means that if you are diluting the sample, 3.3 ml there is a chance that oxygen consumption will be very low such that we cannot properly measure it so for experimental procedure we should keep the sample size within the proper limit 6.7 and for experiment we saw that it should be better within 3.3 and 5 what is the value in this range it is 4.4 so 4.4 is the most appropriate size for the sample to be taken so if UPS is going by simple logic about the limit of the oxygen available and that can be consumed, the answer can be 6.6 .6. or UPS is going with the experimental procedure, the most appropriate sample size will be 4.4 from the options available. So the answers can be either A or C.